In this lesson, we will see how to create and remove edges and faces of an object. For that, we can use the initial cube of the default Blender scene. So, we can select it and enter the edit mode by going to the interaction mode menu up here. Let's start by looking at how to delete and create new faces. To delete a face, just activate the face selection mode up here, select the face to be deleted, and hit the delete key. When we do this, we will see this menu with various options to erase the geometry components. Some of these options are more advanced and can be a bit confusing. Also, for us to remove a face, we will also choose this Faces option here. So, after selecting a face, just click Delete Faces. If we want to close this hole now, we will need to select all the vertices that surround this hole. To do this, we can activate the Edge or Vertex Selection mode up here. And we can use either of these two, because in the end, the whole border will be selected in the same way. For this time, I will activate the Vertex Selection mode and click on any of these edges with the ALT key pressed to select the entire loop. Once all the vertices of the hole are selected, we can go to the Vertex menu up here. Here we will find some vertex-specific tools. And if I use the new Edge Faces from Vertices command, it will close the hole with a new face. The shortcut to this command is the F key. So, if I enable the Face Selection mode, select a face and delete it, Then activate the Vertex or the Edge on Selection mode. And select the entire border with the ALT key. I just have to press the F key to close this hole with a new face. Now let's take a look at how to create and remove the edges of the model. When we enter the Edit mode, we can see here on the left of the 3D view that the tools on the toolbar change. The toolbar always displays the tools corresponding to the interaction mode in which the object is. As we have also seen, we can move the cursor over the right corner of the toolbar and click and drag right until we see the names of the buttons. One of the modeling tools we will find here is the Loop Cut tool. If we enable this tool, we will see that when we position the cursor over an edge of the model, it will display a yellow loop perpendicular to the edge in question. And if we click, this edge loop will actually be created in the model. And if, instead of simply clicking, we click and drag, we can define the starting position of this loop. As we have also seen, if we click this panel down here immediately after using a certain command, we can configure some properties of that command. And, in the case of the loop cut tool, Two interesting parameters are the number of cuts and the factor parameter, which allows you to determine the starting position of the loop. But remember that after you perform any other command, you will no longer be able to edit these loop cut properties. So, for example, if I activate the Scale tool, 
and scale the selection, the properties of this panel will become the properties of the scale command, not the loop cut. Now, let's see how to remove the edges of the model. The simplest way to remove an edge from a model is to select it with the Select Box tool and using the Ctrl Delete shortcut. And if we want to erase an entire loop of edges, just select the loop with the Alt key pressed and use the Ctrl Delete shortcut. In the next lesson, we will see some of the main modeling tools of the edit mode in Blender.